And then the next thing we'll do is we're going to lift off all of the dampers by pressing the right pedal down, freeing up all the strings once again. And we're going to hit a very low note on the piano. And then we're going to find that note that you pressed and dampen it with our fingers. You can still hear all the resonance happening in the other strings, but then the fun thing is, is if you let the string back up, it starts to vibrate of its own accord again, and when you touch it, you can feel it vibrating once again. Because resonance works like this. When things are in tune with each other, they add energy. It's like an in-phase push on a swing, giving energy to something that's already in motion or in the same motion. So by uh, pressing the key down, hitting this low note, hearing all the resonance, and then stopping the note, and then lifting it up again, and then touching it yet again, it shows that the strings that are resonating are taking the energy and then giving back to the string once I've released it again. So this is a wonderful way to talk about what happens in performance. When you are performing, you are in the midst of an energetic exchange with the audience. The energy from the audience is coming at you, and if you are in tune with the audience, you are able to take their energy that's coming forward um, into you and then turn it around and offer it back to them, which then in turn allows them to have a deeper experience. So talk about, let's talk about this in terms of inspiration. If you are inspired, you are going to help the audience feel inspired, and then their inspiration is going to come back to you in that performance. That's why performing can be so powerfully addicting, because it just feels good to get out of the way and allow that energy to flow through you.